This is a review of dot products. As you might recall, there are two types of multiplication with vectors. There's dot products and there's cross products. Dot products are also called scalar products because the final answer is a scalar uh, versus the cross product, also known as a vector product. Now the dot product here, if I have two vectors, I have an a hat and, or sorry, a vector and a b vector. When I'm multiplying it using a dot product, I am multiplying the components that are in the same direction. So I want to figure out how much of a is in the direction of b. Well, I can break a up into its components. This, and that angle there is theta. This is a cosine theta, and this is a sine theta. And so a dot b would be a the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between them. So if I have two vectors, five newtons, three uh, at a 30 degree angle, dot product with a so three meter and 70 degree angle, that dot product was I multiply the magnitudes, so it's 15 newton meters times the cosine of the angle between them, which is 40 degrees. That's the angle between those two, the difference. And I end up with 11.49 newton meters, potentially a joule, depends upon the situation. Now, if I am dealing with it in rectangular form, so I have five newtons I plus three newtons J dot product with seven meters I hat minus three meters, uh, let's make it a different number, four meters J hat. Well, I'm going to do it out the long way. So if I, all I'm doing is foiling here. So I get uh, 35 I hat dot I hat minus 20 I hat dot J hat plus 21 J hat dot I hat minus 12 J hat dot J hat doing the last. Since dot products care about multiplying parallel components, well, those are parallel to each other. So I hat dot I hat is one. So this becomes 35. I hat dot J, J hat, that's perpendicular. So that is zero. That is zero because they're perpendicular to each other minus 12 times one. And so I end up with 35 minus 12, which is 23. And let's not forget units, it is Newton times meters, so Newton meters. And so that's the quick review of dot products.